What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Making Podcasts Great Again. I am your tech stuff guy, Jay Nog, and we are here, of course, with the President of the United States of America, Mr. Donald J. Trump. Mr. President, craziness going on. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling very strong. I had a great conversation uh, this morning with, uh, you know, a, a great, a great leader, Herman Cain. We talked about uh, a lot of good things. He had some some strategies. So you, you, wait, wait. You spoke to Herman Cain. Herman Cain is dead, Mr. President. He died today. No, <laughs> he died a few months ago. How did you talk? Uh, to him? Well, no. Well, uh, he was in my he was in my strong bedroom giving me advice. So I don't know. Was, <laughs> but we're feeling very good. Uh, you know. We're looking into more social media. I've told all my followers to, to find me on Adult Friend Finder. So we're doing, uh, that's where we're now conducting most of our social media operations. They can't stop me. They can't stop President Trump. Now, Mr. President, I wanted to ask you about the storming the Capitol. You did elicit uh, some sort of, vi you're, you're drinking a beer, Mr. President. You well, don't it's, drink. we have a little bit of a sponsor. We're trying to do some sponsorships because of, uh, you know, the cash flow seems to be a little tight now with everybody refusing to host my Trump store. Uh, the credit card companies are running. So Budweiser, the official beverage of MAGA. <laughs> no, I, uh, this is and did you see how they gave me? They gave me sort of the strong flannel shirt and the Budweiser. So now I can sort of slip through my own people. Mr. President, you, this has forced you to drink. The storming of the Capitol has pushed you to have your first alcoholic beverage ever. Uh, oh, well, okay. Yeah, no, well, you know what? It's, we're in tough times. And, uh, you know, I think I want to show my MAGA supporters that I am with them in spirit and racism and beverage. Well, Mr. President, speaking of your MAGA supporters, I was able to track down one of the can I put in quotes, protesters um, from the storm oh, in the Capitol? Well, no, I would say if you could put into those quotes, patriot protester. Patriot protester. Okay. And now I'd like you to take away the quotes because that feels very sarcastic. And this is obviously a great patriot. Um, I want to welcome, he was, he was there, he stormed the Capitol. Um, he is from Erie, Pennsylvania. His name is Brian Richardson. Brian, you are on with the President of the United States of America. Brian, how are you? Hello? Hello? Hello, does this work? Hello? It, it, uh, you see that the, you know, see what the deep state is doing? The, they're trying to shut down his cell phone because he's a patriot. Hello? I, I just Hello. don't think he's used Zoom before, so I, I think that's the problem he's having. Well, he probably Hello? knows that it's a China, it's a China app. Hello. Um, oh, my God. 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 It is. It is the president. Hello. I love you. Oh, my God. I can't, and I love I, you. I, I love you. I love I love I love you, Mr. President. I will do I will I will do anything for you. I with my fam my family had a black dog and we got rid of it because of what you've been saying. And I, I, I mean, I got rid of all my black clothes. I, I, I'm just I, and you say the word I'll die for you. I pray to you every night. Oh my God! Hello. Are those wow. glasses black rimmed glasses? I don't need them. I don't want them. I'm <laughs> well, legally okay. blind, but that's that's you say the word, and I will just. I am your bidder. I will do the bidding, and I just so is. I got. I'm talking to the president right now. Yes, that's, that's so much excited. It's a MAGA revolution, and oh, I'm like in. That. I'm in New York City. I escaped the Capitol. And I'm, no one's gonna find me in the city of liberal cuck, queer mongers, and and I'll blend in and well, I'll sleep with a man if, if that if you say the word and I'll do it to, to be covert in this city of sin. That's a, you know you hear that tech stuff guy you've never you've never shown that strong support for your president. I and, have never offered to sleep with another man for you. Not you know yet. that's Mike Pence level commitment right there. I I call my wife Donald. I really do. I do. <laughs> Well, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, that might be a little too much. Uh, I'll, I'll never do it again. <laughs> um, <laughs> Brian, um, we, there are some. My full storm... name, Brian, Brian Jeffrey Richardson. Okay. I don't care who knows it. I'm from Erie, Pennsylvania. You're never going to get me. <laughs> okay. Brian Jeffrey Richardson. Um, 
you were at the storming of the Capitol. Did you happen to um, pass the man who pa- who, uh, who who died? He he tased. We, we wanted to have a moment of silence tonight for one of the people there, Mr. President. Yeah, I got your note. Um, it was a man from Alabama who was up on a table trying to rip down a painting and he had a taser in his yep. pocket. He fell yep. um, and tased himself in the testicles repeatedly and gave himself a heart attack. And um, Mr. Well, President, you wanted a moment of silence for this man? I would. I would like a, a strong and powerful moment of silence because that's, you know, that's, it's just one of the, I think it's the greatest tragedy I've ever seen as an American, ever. Never forget. One six twenty one. Never forget the ball days. It, I'm, I'm, I'm crying on the inside and the outside for that man. And I'll tell you the truth. I was next to him, and he fell on the ground. And said, "Ow!" And I said, "Do it again, for Trump. Do it again, for Trump." And he tased his balls like a patriot, like a, like every American should. And if I had, if I was legally allowed to own a taser, you bet I'd taser my nuts off right now for you, sir. I love you. Thank you so much. And I think that just shows the left. You know, the left, they're so afraid of tasers, and they certainly don't have the the balls to take a tase. They can't take a nope. tase. Nope, because they're all transitioning. That's right. They all got their balls taken away because they're transitioning. That's Well, you know what? Yeah, I would agree. I would agree very strongly with that. Yep, Brian, the little I, sissy boys. Miss Brian Jeffrey Richardson, I, I wanted yes. to, to ask you, um, so you were next to the man whose balls were tased. So you were actually in the Capitol. Can you please give us some inside information of what mm-hmm. you actually did and were attempting to do? I've heard stories of people defecating on desks. Um, can you just give us the real inside info here? Well, I'll tell you, you know, people kind of, you know, lovingly nicknamed me Bumping Brian because I kept bumping into people because I was Facebook Live in the whole thing. <laughs> You know, I just wanted to make sure everyone saw what I was doing, you know, just a Patriots Day is really, I mean, I'm going to be honest, I've always celebrated Veterans Day, but I feel like that day is meant for me and these Patriots that were there that day. And, you know, I, I, I'm going to be honest, you know, we did give each other laxatives before we went in. We put it in our slits. Yep. And we drank it because we said, we're running for freedom and we're going to get the runs doing it. And that's, and that's what we did. We had some real diarrhea dumps all over them deaths. Yep. Just like what a real patriot who loves the country would do. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's why Paul Revere, nobody, nobody talks about how Paul Revere, the reason he went so fast on the horse is because he had to take a dump. So I think that the great patriots we had at the Capitol were basically doing that. They were, these are Paul Re- we're, these are Paul I mean, Revere patriots, okay? Tech they, stuff. They are, and and I gotta say, you are. You say we. Excuse me. You can say we. You were there. We, you we, are we. We, 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 and that's the last time I'll say that because it sounds French. But it single sounds we, very French. Single we, we. I have a question. Do you? Is that the largest hat known to man? Because your brain's so big. How do you put a hat on that head with such a big brain? Huh? It's uh. You know, up there, it's interesting that you bring that up because a lot of people have said, sir, you have maybe the biggest brain in the history of the world. And mm-hmm. I, tend to, I tend to think that's true. So thank you for noticing. But, you know, I have great wealth so I can custom make my hats for... Oh, God. You know, and I... They, we, know, my hats are... But my, they, I have a hat size that they call special needs Barry hmm. Bonds on steroids. It's <laughs> that large. So yes. you got to get it custom. I'm yeah. To- and, and, you know, you, well, I just want to say also, too, I'm, I'm sorry, I just can't believe him with the president, you know, you have so much money and I just want to thank you for having me and, and the other Patriots best interest in mind. You know, most rich people are out of touch, but you really, you really, you really care with, with, with three K's in the beginning, you KKK care. Thank so, you. Mu- so much caring. It's uh thank you for noticing. And uh, caring. Yes. <laughs> that's why. You know, that's why I fought so hard for $2,000 for a weekend to get everybody $2,000. Oh. And then I decided very strongly that mm. 600 was better because, you know, it we is. don't want to ruin people's work ethic if we give them no. too much money during a pandemic. I'm, I'm going to work harder 
And it's going to make me lose weight because my family and I won't be able to eat. So thank you. My wife is getting to be a real fat ass. And I've been saying, you got cut back. Martha. No, that's true. And, and you know, Michelle Obama, oh, exercise, eat your vegetables. Get, get the hell Blech. out of here. Starvation Blech. is yes. the most proven. Just Go. the way abstinence is the best sex education and starvation is. is the yes. best diet. Yes, go show go show your arms in Rwanda, Michelle. That's what I say. <laughs> yep. I Rwanda Obama. I'm surprised they didn't have a kid named Rwanda Obama. Kind of rhymes, actually. I, I you a, are so smart. I have a question for both of you. There has, yes. has been numerous riots this year. Um, By the way, Stormy. tech stuff guy, what what do you think you're do you think you're a great patriot with a mustache? Did you grow that mustache <laughs> to try and be a patriot? Because we know you're. We know you're not a strong patriot. It's actually yeah, you, you use that mustache as a broom at your little glory holes you're <laughs> jumping around to around town where you read each other the communist manifesto through a hole in the wall, huh? Um, no, it's, it's actually my, my, uh, my, my playoff mustache. You, but You just turned up your volume. You did it last week. You just cranked it up. <laughs> I, very I, rude. I will get away from the mic. I have a very it's, important question for, for both of you. There have, yeah. there have been riots this year. It, it um, turned up very loudly and nobody wants to hear you that loudly. So my, are we, are we good ear, right now? My ears hurt. My ears hurt. You're hurt. <laughs> Trump, Mr. President, say something soothing to me. So my ears feel better, please. White power. <laughs> uh, oh, that's what I call my white noise machine. It's just you saying white power over and over again. <laughs> I can sleep like a baby at night. Oh, that's a beautiful, well, that's, we should, we should probably market that. I think that'll be one of the first products we, we sell after a, uh, and I'll leave the White House if I choose to leave the White House. Yeah, over, over my dead body, because I will die for you. Okay, gentlemen, there have been riots this year. And I wanted to ask you if you can please uh, rate the riots and critique them. It's the storming Capitol riots, the Antifa riots, and the BLM riots. Can you please tell me in order of greatness and just critique them a little bit? Maybe you guys can go back and forth discussing them. Well, I, I just want to say, first of all, I love my job at the Steamfitters Union. I don't want to get canceled, so BLM was number one. <laughs> but uh, it, 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 if, if we're doing one to five, one being the best, obviously, it's the Capitol Hill. I mean, that was my – personally, that was the favorite ride I was ever in. The, my least favorite ride was the one at, at Walmart when they, when they wouldn't let me – because I kept eating the deli meats in the meat aisle with my bare hands. I ride it. I ride it that day. I'll tell you why I ride it. Mm -hmm. Mr. President, how, what are your thoughts? Well, you know, the Antifa riots, very scary, but very weak. You know, like, in other words, we have to shut them down. We have to shut Antifa down, but they were so weak and down. so easily shut, shut down. down. Then obviously second best or second, you know, least second, you know, not as terrible, but still terrible was Black Lives Matter, which was a total, yeah. a total disgrace. P.U. Um, uh, you know, they burned the police station. They burned all because the police killed an innocent man. So they bur <laughs> all because of that. They burned down the station. What an overreaction. Definitely. Desp des despicable with a capital B. Totally despicable. And then, of course, yep. the Capitol Hill riots, which were, you know, peaceful Love, protests of love. Yep. I think love of country, yep. love of president. Yeah. Um, and of and can, I, can I can I just say when we killed that police officer, you know, who we, you know, obviously we back the blue, except when it goes against our self interest. But he had a fly on him. I said, shoe fly, shoe fly, and I was just trying to get a big little old bug off him, and 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 it was just a misunderstanding. And sure, we hit him with a fire extinguisher, American flag pole, but. It was just to get that little shoe fly off and we meant no harm. God bless Trump. And they're trying to say that this guy supported me, this police officer who, who you know, apparently, uh, yes. you know, had an Antifa heart attack. I'm being told that Antifa gave mm. him a heart attack. And that's, we, we regret that. But he was supposed to be a Trump supporter. And mm. if you, which I found very interesting that they would say that, because if he was, why wasn't he tasing his own balls? Oh, that is such a good point. Such a good point. Can we get a moment of silence for me for that point? Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.
No. Yeah, I think he was thanking, excuse me, text. He was thanking me. He's never, nobody thanks yeah. you, text stuff. Get, get, get your head out of your ass. And when you do, leave that mustache behind. I was talking to the president. Okay. Now, I, I wanted to know, you're saying it was peaceful protests. Um, the story from uh, uh, Brian Jeffrey Richardson here kind of um, doesn't go along with your story, Mr. President, of peacefulness. People were running around trying to ask where senators were, trying to ask where their offices were. Um, it seemed like people had violent intentions. Um, Mr. Uh, Brian Jeffrey Richardson, can you confirm that, that people had violent intentions? What? No. I don't have a violent bone in my body. And every single time my wife has pressed charges, she failed. And another <laughs> thing, we were saying, excuse me, excuse me, where's Pelosi's office, kind sir? We weren't just running around, smoking weed on sacred ground. No, we was a bit, pardon me, p -p pardon everyone under Trump, p -p pardon all of them, p -p pardon Trump and pardon me. Where's the nice office so I can pray? That's what happened. You know, and, and everybody said, oh, they were saying, hang Mike Pence, isn't that violent? No, they're aware that Mike Pence enjoys hung men. So they were just saying, you know, trying to support our vice president with something he likes. Yes. And that that's also why Baltay's man was tasing himself. He wanted to enlarge and swell up his his wang in remembrance of Mike Pence. So again, another Patriot dead trying to do the right thing. Mm. Mm. Well, I want to get right back into can we this. Get another, can we get another moment of silence from you for the president, please? Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I didn't say anything. Now, um, yeah. I, I appreciate um, Brian Jeffrey Richardson. Now, back to this, uh, Mr. Richardson, <clears throat> I wanted to ask you also how you felt about Mr. President's Twitter ban. I know a lot of this um, protest, peaceful protest was organized online. Mr. President, you did elicit some of this um, action. No, it's, excuse me. It's been an attack on me the entire time, and you know it. Okay, first of all, they removed the rape videos from Pornhub, which was an attack on me, first and foremost. <laughs> I and haven't they, gotten a boner since, tell they you the truth. Exa thank you. And they removed the underage content as well. Okay, so now I knew the internet was coming for me when they did that. So I was not surprised that Silicon Valley, you know, was yep. going to yep. attack me on my great social media. Yeah. And and I'll tell you what, just like I saved all that underage porn because I knew they'd take it away. I also saved all your tweets. I had them all printed out. And so I begun just mailing them to people. I just I mail them every day, multiple times a day since I've been back. Not to where I'm from, because there are people looking for me, <laughs> but I, I have mailed them to news outlets, the capitals, and just people. I hand them out on the street. I go, tweet, 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 and I give them the good word of T-R-U-M-P, Trump. Thank you for that. That's, you know, tech stuff, Where what, are you doing that? No, I'm not. But I, I wanted. No, I'm not. Maybe. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear the liberal, the sort of liberal fear in his voice, unafraid, afraid to speak to his president? No, no, no. The soy, the soy milk gives me a stutter. <laughs> I don't drink soy milk. <laughs> well, your mustache says otherwise. Tell you what, buddy. Well. Your Twitter ban, you're also being kicked off many other social media platforms. You talked about making your own platform. Is that going to come true? I, well, you know what? We're looking at it right now. Trumpter. How about Trumpter? How's that sound? I love it. I love it. And then whenever I see a hot chick on the street, I say, look at the Trumpter on her. Mm. <laughs> yep. Because when I see a big ass, I think of Trump. That's what I think. Yep. Mm. Totally agree. Totally agree. So how are you going to get everyone to sign up for Trumpter? I mean, I know you're probably going to use uh, Brian, uh, Jeffrey Richard, Sim will probably be one of your main guys going forward. But besides, I Brian, will do it. I will do it. I will do it in a heartbeat. I will kill myself. If you say the word, I will kill myself. I will take <laughs> uh, the life out of my body. We, we might do that for, for my first Trump. 
we're going to, instead of a tweet, we're calling it a treat. Get it? A Trump tweet. So Trump yeah. is going to have treats. And the first treat I post might be a great friend here killing himself <laughs> because, you know, that's sort of strong Please. viral content. Please. I, I mean, my allegiance to you is I will... I will kill myself in your name, much like those Islamic terrorists. I will do anything except, for you, and except I will better and stronger because you're not. Except you know, better it's, it's and stronger. It's technically not terror when you and, do it. It's called great patriotism. And I will never see the glaring similarities of my actions and behaviors towards Islamic extremism, or what they do on the left. I will never see the comparison, and I will never say, "Wow, it's like I'm looking into a distorted mirror," because it's it's different. Mm -hmm. uh how would you how would you kill yourself for uh for the treat i well i mean a treat and by the way doesn't myself. that sound great you couldn't you even <laughs> i could even hear african americans saying were you on the treat like it sounds almost like a drug it might get them more yep. interested because they'll, they'll wonder what is this social media or is it crack yep yep and we all know how they're addicted to both I mean, you, you just go to any Boost Mobile in any city and you'll see them. Are they getting crack or a cell phone playing? I don't know. <laughs> I actually just, uh, by the way, I signed a, uh, an endorsement deal with Cricket. Okay, so we've got a very strong cell phone company backing us for, for a Trumpter. Uh, thank, praise Trump. Praise Trump. Truly also, praise Trump. We're going to, if uh, for Trumpter, what it's going to be is everybody who signs up has to be authenticated unless they're a bot and then that's okay also. And then everybody automatically follows me. Yes, I love it. And you know what, tech guy, Mr. Mr. Gay Man, take a picture of this face <laughs> and use it on any bot you want. I will be the, I would love to be the face of voter fraud, any sort of coop. I would love to be the face of it because I, I believe in you. And I, I mean, you asked a treat for how I'd like to go. I would love for you to just give me such a cum shot that it blows out the back of my head. I would, oh, I would die. Oh, I would love Mike, it. Mike, he's talking to me. Okay, settle down. Our great Spe Vice President, Mike Pence. You got a speaking, little, speaking of Mike excited. Pence, speaking of, of Vice President Pence, I wanted to know, um, Mr. Richardson, how do you feel about Vice President Pence? There were you were there were cheers of hang a Mike Pence, and now there's an ultimatum hanging over his head. Either he has to um, invoke the Twenty Fifth Amendment, or there's a possible impeachment. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Well, to tell you the truth, I do not know what the Twenty Fifth Amendment is, and I'm unsure of what impeachment is. But if he falls in line with the dictate, the 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 dick the the if he is dictated to do what wonderful Trump says, I will love him forever. And if he steps out of line, it will be my duty to blow myself up in his presence for my allegiance to Trump. Because when I die, it will be worth it knowing I gave my life and soul to the good man that I would never, ever turn my back on because I have been brainwashed to believe he truly has my best interest in mind. I love Trump. <laughs> Trump O Akbar. That's a new phrase we're going to be using very strongly Trump with all my with all my uh, supporters, it's a total non- Trouble Akbar! Trouble Akbar! I stayed on the streets. Trouble Akbar! Trouble Akbar! I'm, I'm in New York City on the streets right now. Everybody, I hope people... This is not for a podcast. It's a real-life Trouble Akbar. <laughs> now, Thank Mr. You. President, what are your thoughts on the whole ultimatum, impeachment right around the corner, and then also people screaming horrible things at Mike Pence? Um let me tell you something. There's one thing Mike Pence likes. It's a lot of young, aggressive white men with muscles surrounding mm. him and yelling at him and degrading mm. him. OK, mm. so for everybody who thinks that made Mike Pence sad, you know, trust me, it didn't. OK, are you busy tech stuff guy? You're sort of missing great content here. I'm you, sorry. I'm trying to are you texting notes Antifa. Are you texting I'm, Antifa? I'm, I'm taking why, notes. Why, I'm sorry. I'm why? Notes. Why? You, why are you looking down and smiling? Did that turn you on, tech guy? <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think that mustache is a strong Mike Pence fan. Yeah, but what, what I you will got in them books? Just the huh? mustache. The Just the mustache. <laughs> tech stuff, Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Mike Pence has been very loyal. I understand he's under a lot of pressure from both sides, but he hasn't done the 69th Amendment yet, so we're feeling very safe with that. And, uh, you know, I think he's going to make radical left Nancy Pelosi with her big granny titties uh, do something. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. 
Yep. I mean, so, truthfully, that that's why we were all storming the Capitol to, to lift her big granny titties up because we are need a mammogram. You so know, we, we were the, again just exactly. there to help. We had the boaters for Trump and now we have the motor boaters for Trump. God, you were just wonderful. Uh, <laughs> it's too many, too much stuff here. God, no. you're just do you see? Excuse me. Do you, man. do you see the tech stuff guy already? He's getting so much patriotism and so much great content, conservative content. He's going, oh, it's too much. This is mm-hmm. what, half of America loves America and wants more greatness and more prosperity, and the other half grow mustaches and say, no, please, sir, stop making it great. Stop giving us great <laughs> things. Got, go, go, suck a tailpipe that you wish was a dong, tech guy. Yeah, go suck some freedom out of that, buddy. <laughs> now, Mr. President, if Pence does invoke the 25th Amendment. Bohemian podcastery. That's going to be your movie. <laughs> God, you are just such a fucking genius. Holy fuck. <laughs> but very stable as well. Yes, stable. Are you a- expecting an impeach because you mr president you know if you get impeached you lose a lot if you get impeached you can't run in 2024 you have no secret service you lose out on a, a, there's a whole list of things that he you can't he can't you will not he can't he can't run for president of the united states but by then we gonna have our own country called trump erica and he's <laughs> gonna run for that and he will be the president and he will be the god of trump erica you stupid fucking moron think ahead <laughs> Yeah, you know, as I've always said, tech stuff guy, you're playing checkers and we're playing go fish. Okay. That's right. Totally, and I, with you, you totally with you, sir, it. I always fish for what I wish. Bars. God, I'm, uh, uh, bars, <laughs> which I am not allowed back in any of because when I get alcohol in my body, I cannot stop screaming my allegiance to you, but it's worth it. <laughs> oh, shit. You guys are great. Um, we, we have, we have two. Oh, it's more. a little too late for that tech stuff, guy. We know where you're yeah. real. We know you're a radical left. Yeah. Stick your nose guy. up Antifa's ass instead. Soy boy. We have two more pieces of news and, uh, and then I'm going to let, uh, Mr. Richardson go and, uh, we, we'll end this thing, but this is this, I appreciate both of you being here tonight, really, um, shining some light on the cause and shining some light on the future of America. Now, the White House and Bill Barr are warning you, Mr. President, not to self-pardon or go on the pardon palooza that was listed on the last episode, um, which I think was a, uh, a bonus episode. So mm. uh, patreon.com slash MPGA. Check mm. that out, everyone. And also, that, uh, you know, that, that is my favorite Incubus song when he goes, pardon me, Mr. Trump. Because I'm going to jail for storming the Capitol. Pardon me, Brian Richardson, Mr. Trump. Please, please. I'm going to lose everything I worked for in my life because I thought it was a good idea to storm the Capitol. You should be on American Idol. Mm. You are the American Idol. So I'm on it right now. Again, it's patreon.com slash MPGA. On January 20th, we have a special inauguration episode at 8 p.m. Eastern with the president, Perfect 10. It's a Q&A. Join the Patreon, sign up. You're going to want to just sign up for this month for the inauguration episode. It's patreon.com slash MPGA. It's January 20th, 8 p.m. Eastern yep. for the Perfect 10 Patreon patrons. Yep. I'm, I'll tell you, that's where, that's where half of my stimulus check is going to. Yep. To that Patreon. I will be able to afford your Patreon for two months with the stimulus check. Thank you. The beautiful thing. <laughs> what was your question? The pardon My question Palooza? about, yeah, pardon Palooza, your self-pardon. People are warning you not to self-pardon. And I know, Mr. President, when people warn you not to do something, are you going to pardon yourself as of tomorrow? Well, when you're married to an ice-cold Transylvanian whore who's very moody, you find yourself having to pardon yourself quite a bit in your spare time. <laughs> but what I will tell you is I'm going to pardon myself, but here's what I'm going to really do. And I think our great friend is going to like this even more than you. I'm going to pardon everyone who raided the Capitol. Yes. And yep. then we're going to see, and then I will have an army and a total allegiance, total loyalty I am going to pardon them and I'm going to baptize them in Mountain Dew at the pardoning. And that's when they will be reborn 
in the spirit of Donald J. Trump Christ. And then yes. we will have something that this country has never had before. What's yes. That? Spray me with your freedom. A freedom-loving religious death cult for patriotism. I love it. I love it. Are you are you Reba McIntyre? Because that is music to my ears. Uh, well, you can find me on uh, my my handle on Trumpter is Toby Queef. So just as a shout out to the country music fans. So. I love it. Remember when Garth Brooks had an alter ego for a year? That was weird. What a weirdo. That was, was it? What was he tech? Was he tech guy of the country world? Come on. Unbelievable. Alan, what was his name? Like Alan Gaines or something? Chris Gaines. Chris Gaines. Chris yep. Gaines. What a yep. loser. Girth, what you know, loser. my country name would be Girth Brooks. We did that on That's a Patreon right. episode. It's called Girth <laughs> Brooks. No one's bigger than you, President Trump. No one's bigger than you. Six foot five, 215 pounds. I, want, I wanted to ask Brian. Love. Brian, what? Brian Jeffrey, how do you feel about Ivanka Trump? I mean, if, if I if I could speak out of turn for a second, I would love to just be with her and honor her because in that way I could just smell the smells that you've left upon her. And that would just that would bring me to, to just total eclipse of my heart. Well, you know what? You uh, that's a great respectful way to say that, um, you know, yep. Because there are certain things that are only between a daughter and a father and aren't to be shared with strong supporters. So thank you for showing that great respect. You're uh, welcome. And uh, no, I, I agree. If I was if I was not Ivanka's father, uh, let me put it this way: I wouldn't stop at third base. <laughs> That's right. It never stopped you before. <laughs> oh, geez, Louise. Mr. President and, um, and, and Brian Jeffrey, I want to just thank you so much for, for joining us this week. I know people are looking for you. You're on the, you're on the no fly list. Um, you are uh, basically running from the law. You're on the lamb and we appreciate you, you joining us for this zoom. A call. very strong pardon is coming your way though. So don't you thank worry. You. Please do it quick because I'm about to throw myself into traffic for you. <laughs> I will, I will in the name of Trump. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, not yet. You say the word, and it is it is team go, team go. I will lay down for you. I sort of want some of my supporters to get arrested just so I can then do the, the pardon so they can just walk out as together with great pride. Yes. The last piece of news, Mr. President and, uh, and Brian Jeffrey, um, the Trump National, uh, Trump, your National Press Secretary, um, Hogan Gidley, um, what a name. Um, he called you the most masculine president ever. Yep. Yep. Okay. What, and what are we just saying? Facts now? I don't understand the question. So two plus two oh, is four. Okay. Yeah. Wa water is wet, shithead. Move on. <laughs> so you are more masculine than JFK. You're more masculine than Obama. Excuse you're me, more JF masculine than hey, JF George Washington. You're more masculine than Thomas Jefferson. Shut, more masculine shut than FDR. Up, tech guy. More shut up, tech guy. Shut up. Trump is talking. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's the kind of loyalty I like. Now, here's the thing, tech stuff. Okay. We have another another tech bites the dust. That's what I'm calling your mustache now. But the <laughs> what I will say to you is JFK had to rely on consent for most of his affairs. Coward. Okay? Total coward. Okay. Waste of time. Uh, Obama okay, was skinny and ate salads. Not very, you know, his, his Weird. wife, his wife was stronger than him physically. How can you be masculine if your wife is stronger? And I don't mean that as an insult. She was literally stronger than him. George uh -huh. Washington didn't even have his own teeth. Okay. Nope. And very weakly sold his slaves when he died. He released his slaves upon his death. What You'll never of, release yours. You'll never release yours. Never, never. They're already, uh, my son Brendan is inheriting them. Good. Okay, so bad. I don't know. If, if, you, if, you, if you need another, Bam. say the word. Well, uh, thank. Well, that's what I love. It's 
that's basically what we're going to form. When I baptize the Trump army in Mountain Dew, it's basically going to be a combination of Scientology mm. and the bar scene in The Accused. That's basically mm. sort of what we're mm. forming, the movement we're forming. Yes. What do you think of that, tech guy, you fat bottom girl? Huh? <laughs> What do you think of that? I, I, I think it's a good insult that you just had there. And um, honestly, I, I think I, I think I lost control of this episode. It's it's all you guys. So I'm just going to uh, go with the flow here because I feel uh, I'm the the power of MAGA is. Uh, and your mustache wants to break free. <laughs> he does. He does. He does. I bet you ride a. I bet you ride a bicycle, queer. <laughs> Which is funny coming from me, <laughs> but with a little inside baseball. Uh, oh shit! Um, I, Brian Jeffrey Richardson, thank you so much for joining us. One of uh, our greatest, if not our greatest, guest. Yes, thank definitely. You. Thank and you. Early Mapiga Award nominee uh, contender. Oh, for, for sure. Twenty twenty one. Definitely. If I'm, if, if I'm not dead from a self-inflicted gun wound to the head because I've deciphered a secret message you, has, you have given me to die for you, I will gladly accept it. Um, we want to thank betonline.ag for sponsoring us this episode. Very strong. And for the football playoffs, go on there, betonline.ag. Make some bets this weekend. And on January 20th, we have the inauguration episode, 8 p.m. Eastern time. It's the for the Perfect Ten, Patreon Patriots, and a Q&A with our president on inauguration. It's patreon.com slash mpga. Um, Brian Jeffrey Richardson, you join us again. We really appreciate it. You are you are awesome. If you are a listener um, and you love the Joe Exotic episode, well, this is Joe Exotic also. This is Ian Finance. He is awesome comic from New York City. Check him out on Twitter at Ian Finance. I A N F I D A N C E. Ian, you're awesome. Thanks yeah. for joining us again, man. You're thank fantastic. you guys. Oh. This was thank a fucking you. blast. Uh, I have an Instagram, I A N I M A L six nine, and that's also my Twitch. I stream every day. If you could check that out, I appreciate it. This anything else so to fun. plug? Anything upcoming? Uh, yeah, I got a, a run of shows on Sirius called Ian's Infinite Playlist, Raw Dog, Sirius XM Channel ninety nine, every Friday at one p.m. And uh, this was like the highlight of my year so far. This is so fun. Thank you guys. <laughs> awesome, Ian. Thanks thank for joining you very us. Very much. And uh, yeah. Mr. President, any, any parting words for us? <clears throat> Just know that in the next nine days, I'm going to rain hell <laughs> upon America. But other than that, I hope everybody's doing well. And, uh, you know, I look forward to uh, post-presidency. <laughs> so we already have a library planned in between, as I've said, in between two strip clubs in Tampa. So it's, <laughs> it's going to be called the Titty Fuck Presidential Library. <laughs> So we're looking forward if, to that. If if I knew how to read, I would go there. <laughs> it'll it'll be mostly interactive, and then we'll be at, we'll have Melania and Ivanka replicas that people can sort of you know for different levels of money. I, I enjoy. love it. I love it. And and if we can pull Tech Guy out of giving HJs in the bathroom, it would be nice to meet you in the <laughs> Titty Fuck Library. Absolutely. So thank and everybody. Hello, everybody. It's JL. That wasn't really true. Uh, <laughs> thank you for listening. Um, thank you for sticking with us. Um, I know some people out there understandably think maybe this isn't the, the most fun time to talk about this stuff, but not you guys, because you listen to this podcast and you understand how depraved and horrible it's been uh, for years. So thank you for sticking with us. Share it with a like-minded friend for somebody who is still looking for good laughs this week or this month or this year, be sure to spread the word about the podcast. Thank you, Ian. Thank you, Tech Stuff Guy. Thank and you, man. God help us all. Uh, woo, you suck.